Hello, 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 hello. Testing, testing, testing. Guys, what am I at today? I'm going to tell you right now. I am waterproofing the area where the shower will be going into in the next few days. Now, how do you actually waterproof an area? There's a new, not a new, but there's um, a technique that you can use, an additional step that you can use when you're doing your wet room or your shower, and it's called waterproof tanking. All right, so basically, what this tanking kit does, it's very commonly used in the UK. Um, I think maybe it's not so used in Ireland because maybe people like me who do their DIY themselves aren't very familiar with it. So hopefully this video will help you to make an, a decision to add it as one of your steps the next time that you're renovating your bathroom, okay? So what it basically consists of is this. You've got your waterproof primer, your tanking primer. You've got your waterproof tanking membrane, which is a blue kind of a latex. And you've got your tape, which actually bends to a 90 degree angle. I'll tell you what all those things are in a minute, all right? But I don't, I try to simplify things. I don't want to make it too difficult for you because I understand simple. I don't want to understand. I don't want to become an astrophysicist. I just want to do the wet room. Thanks very much, okay? But I want to do it like to the best, best, best spec that I can do it. And this step will enable you to, to have the best perfected shower room, wet room, um, whatever in your bathroom. The first thing that you need to do is you need to, so you've got your walls plastered, they're prepped, they're brushed down, they're ready to rock and roll. The first thing that you need to do is you need to use your tanking primer, okay? So this is quite, can you hear that? It's a very watery um, consistency. You get your brush and you just basically paint all of the area. And you can see, I've done it up to, is that 1.6 meters? Yeah, about 1.6 meters. Um, I've painted it up as far as, just one second. So I've done this to about 1.6 meters, okay? Then the next step, what you're gonna do is you're going to get your tape, all right? And you're going to apply your tape all around the edges at the bottom, all right? And it folds to a 90 degree like this. So you're going to apply this, all right, at a 90 degree. And, you're, and it, what this does is it's an additional measure, it will stop what's known as capillary action. And what is capillary action is, the fundamentals of it is this. And Einstein wrote his first paper on it in 1901, right? And what capillary action is, is that water, believe it or not, is one of those things that defeats gravity. Water rises, hence you've got the terminology rising damp, all right? So this is one of the preventative measures to avoid you having any sort of absorption of water into the cement, into the plaster on the walls. And this also goes into the corner edge, you know that corner edge? And the good thing about this tape is it actually expands as well, it's quite, um, stretchy so it expands as well if you've got any sort of damage if you've got any sort of um, exterior like major bad wet or rain and the water's trying to come through and just say for example the foundations of the house started to move this will actually move with it it's not going to tear and you paint over it so this is fabulous stuff as well when you've done all that you've left the primer on for one to two hours to dry when you've completed that, you've put your tapes down, you've done everything you need to do. Now you come along with your waterproof tanking membrane. Now the waterproof tanking membrane is almost like a blue latex. I've applied it to my face just to show you that it's non-solvent and it's okay to be around for animals and children and all of that as well, okay? It's not a dangerous thing. You apply a thin coat of it. You're going to go up as far as where you went with the primer as well on the wall. You apply a thin layer of it, you leave it one to two hours. 
Now you can come along, do it again, all right? You can apply another layer of it. We left it a couple of days because what we wanted to do is we were doing the floor simultaneously and we wanted to get all of the moisture as much as we could out of the floors. So we left a dehumidifier in here for about three days. Actually, you only need to leave it here for 48 hours to get, but you should see the amount of water. One thing I do want to mention, all right, so somebody doesn't rip the head off me if they do get a leak, these things are 99.9% .9 guaranteed. They will help you not to have a leak. That doesn't mean if water comes pissing out of your ceilings that you ring me and say, you said, but no, you know the way, nothing is 100% guaranteed in life, but I am doing it because it is the highest measure you can make to help you in order not to have any sort of a leak. You don't want to put in the shower and then five minutes later somebody says to you, Ah, uh, but you, you see, it's because you didn't put in the waterproof tanking system, that's why you had the leak. I don't want somebody to say that, so I'm using every precaution that I can, that I know about, in order for that not to happen. So I needed to clarify that. Have a great day. Bye. That came out of it. You definitely, definitely should get a dehumidifier for your house and leave it in the, in the, even during the days to see how much damp is in the air. So this extracted all of the water out of the air, all right? So we left the dehumidifier in here for a few days to make sure there was no water and no um, moist moisture in the floors, etc. And then came back to this again to do it. Now, is it a necessary step? Look. When you're going to do any sort of construction, any sort of building work yourself at home, yes, you can cut as many corners as you want, but textbook, you should put the waterproof, if you're trained to the penultimate, if you want to do it every single step, if you want to do everything perfectly, you should be doing the waterproof tanking system to enable yourself to have the best, best result. And look, it doesn't have to be expensive, but you do have to pay for these extra things and that extra step will ensure that you never have any sort of an issue with rising damp because concrete blocks plaster is what's known as hydrophilic. So those um, membranes, those pores will absorb water. It draws water to it. If, it. if it did the opposite, it would be called hydrophobic. That's just a, a good to know, not a need to know. But it's hydrophilic, so the water draws to it with the capillary action. So this step, the waterproof tanking kit, um, will prevent any sort of rising damp in your shower and you will get the perfect, perfect result. I hope that this helps you. If you ever see this in a shop, that you will now understand, ladies, and some gents maybe, what exactly is a wet room system. What is a waterproof tanking kit? Goes behind the tile so water doesn't. It's exactly, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So I'm gonna go and do my second layer now. I was just putting it on my skin. Oh yeah, it's dried now, because I was told it's like latex, you can peel it off. There you go, you can peel it off. Now the other thing is, you put masking tape at the bottom of your shower, right? You put a layer of masking tape at the bottom of your shower, and then while this is wet, I will peel off. Can you be quiet? And I can peel, sorry about that. So what you do is you put the masking tape down and you're going to remove the masking tape whilst the, the water tank membrane is wet so that it will come away. Because if you left it until it dries, it's literally like this. So you will peel off the whole wall by mistake. See, you don't want to do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be up to some other sort of a thing or another. Bye. Mwah.